start with Ben. Matt, just with Matt running around a lot on, on Saturday night, what do you feel like y'all maybe didn't do to corral him more? <laughs> um, he, doesn't, he doesn't win a shake for that question, right? No, not at all. <laughs> um, I mean, just uh, as far as just playing within the scheme of our defense, we just have to be more sound. You know, obviously we put forth a lot of effort chasing him around. I, I think that he, he felt us um, in, in the right ways, but, you know, at the same time, we just have to execute better, be better. You know, nobody really questions our, our effort, our toughness, our ability, but it's just the fact, you know, uh, how well are we going to do it? You know, to what extent are we, are we going to reach? And um, didn't quite get there, so, yeah. Matt, you played right at 80 snaps on, on Saturday. How, how do you feel the day after a game like that? And how do you physically hold up? How are you able to hold up week in and week out with the volume of, of snaps you're playing? You know, you know, God's really blessed me with just the ability to mentally sustain and also just, you know, haven't had any injuries during my career. That's a blessing. But, you know, other than that, we have a great strength staff, great nutrition staff, and I pride myself on, you know, taking – uh, the strength and conditioning and the nutrition seriously. I'm able to go out there and just lay it all on the line. Yesterday, I didn't really feel anything. Adrenaline's still high. It's kind of weird. My adrenaline will just go through the game, through the night, and through the next day. But then maybe this morning, a little bit more sore, but you just take your precautions, get in a little bit early, tubs, Norma Techs, all kinds of different conditioning, and of course, eating well. So that's the main thing with me. Eric and Vince. As a defense, you guys have been really good against opposing running backs. Obviously, Alabama's got a good one uh, coming up this this week. Have you seen uh, much of him on film already? And if so, kind of what are your thoughts on Robinson? Um, yeah, I've seen him on film. Obviously, uh, um, uh, a good back in our league. Um, we do pride ourselves on trying on trying to stop uh, opposing teams' running backs, and we're going to treat it the same. Um, going there have your fits, get a lot of knockback up front, and uh, fill all the fits from the backer positions and then from like the uh, star and corner spots outside for you know the outmost contain. Uh, we can't treat it any differently. You know, It's not really about doing anything special or anything extraordinary. It's just doing like the ordinary things at a very, very high level consistently over and over again. You know, not once in the fourth, once in the third, second, and first quarter, you know, just all throughout the game and then minimizing your mistakes. So. That's the main thing with any running back, any offense, no matter what. Matthew, two things. How do you process? You've been through a lot, seen a lot of atmospheres in Neyland Stadium. How do you process, you know, all that game and the, the great uh, parts of it, and then also the end with the delay? Um, just that—that that was, you know, I, I've been here for a lot of games during my recruitment, and I obviously played in a lot of games, so. I've seen fantastic atmospheres. And then, of course, last year you have, you know, minimal capacity in Neyland. So it's, it's great to see that atmosphere. Uh, the light show at the beginning gets everybody hyped up. You know, that was a unique and new experience for me and for everybody. I knew they were going to do something, but, you know, obviously it's, it's great to see it. And, you know, what happened at the end with the delay, it is what it is. One way or the other, I, I'm, I'm, you know, very uh, proud to have fans of, of this great university, of this great uh, tradition and this program that are passionate. Now, you know, what happened at the end, that's just a few, but one way or the other, just proud to have fans like that, you know, that support me and, and hopefully, you know, we give back to them by playing good football and, you know, just being good ambassadors of, of our program and this brand that, you know, the University of Tennessee. On Bryce Young, he seems to be very different in that he's got his capability, but he's always looking to throw down the field. What changes defensively knowing that he has more of that tendency than actually trying to run? Um, you know, a lot of times uh, maybe uh, with the quarterback, maybe he may be coached like, hey, let's deliver from the pocket or, you know, let's have presence in the pocket. But, you know, you never know what he could bring out this week. He's obviously a talented player. He obviously has all the tools. You know, everybody talks about him pretty highly, and uh, that's demonstrated on film as well as we've watched film yesterday and this morning. So uh, just be ready for anything. Um, obviously, just fitting in the run game, and that's going to open up more in the pass. And then once we have that pass, getting pushed in the middle, great contain, and then just making the tackle, you know, no missed tackles. And, 
obviously trying to uh, get after the ball too. So, you know, Bryce Young, he, he's, he's, a, he's a talent for sure. I see great things on film from him, but like I said, it's just about executing at that high level. Don't have to do anything special. Henry Tomatola obviously has a pretty good impact on Alabama's defense. What have you thought about that? And uh, do you still have contact with it? Well, obviously, like, you know, I don't watch a ton of Alabama's defense per se. Um, going into the Alabama game, want to watch Alabama's offense. But uh, Alabama did indeed play Ole Miss. And uh, so we were able to see a little bit of Alabama's defense in preparation for Ole Miss. And, you know, he looked good out there. You know, he and I were cool. Um, we talk every so often via maybe social media or a quick DM or text or anything like that. I'm glad he's doing well. But when it comes down to it, you know, it's the University of Tennessee versus uh, the University of Alabama. Uh, you know, I'll speak to him after the game. I hope I see him at the next level uh, doing fantastic things. But, you know, uh, that's kind of like to the side. It's just an uh, extra little piece, um, nothing major. Patrick and then Eric. Matt, a couple things. You were involved in the play where they looked like Tyler ran, threw the ball out, took back their touchdown, and they said it wasn't a touchdown. Were you surprised by that? Did you hear a whistle as you were? So uh, I'll, I'll just be honest. Like I presumed it was a trick play. Um, I had a, a, a movement. I thought it was a trick play, maybe a Statue of Liberty or something like that. Wasn't sure. So I was just trying to um, wrestle him to the ground. I was clawing after the ball. Uh, believe Tyler got it out. You know, I, I thought that the play was um, what it looked like. But um, there's different rules and different uh, maybe interpretations of those rules. And you know, you take it and you play with it. Obviously, that could have been a game-changing play for us. But at the same time, there's probably 10, 12, maybe 15 other game-changing plays that could have happened uh, that we have to take advantage of or just even just even if we did them well, just be better at. So, uh, yeah, just you kind of just play through those things. Yeah, and from the past three games, it looks like Byron Young keeps kind of improving and making more of an impact on the game. Are you guys seeing that on film and kind of how have you seen him sort of grow since he got back and having a good opportunity? Yeah, I mean, he, he's extremely talented. He's great off the edge. He learns very well. He's quick to learn as well. So the thing with D-line play, you know, you kind of think it's 1v1, the guy in front of you. But in actuality, like him playing as well makes me better. And, uh, you know, hopefully me playing well makes him better. You know, Amari Thomas better, Jay Blakely better, uh, Karat Garland better, uh, DJ Terry better. You know, I'm, I'm going to miss people. Latrell, you know, Caleb, all those guys. I want those guys be better as well. So I have to uh, step up my play, and hopefully we're all helping each other. So, um, yeah. Three more questions before his class. Eric, Brent, and then Uh You mentioned Amari Thomas right there. His play started to get more and more snaps as the week go on. He had a really nice game uh, a couple days ago against Ole Miss. As the veteran of the group, how neat is it to see his progression and really just the overall depth that your position grows year goes on? Yeah, I mean, that, that's great to see, especially, I mean, maybe we had a depth uh, problem, quote unquote, in the past. I mean, whatever, it's a new day. And I'm, I'm very glad to see just continued uh, progression in our room. You know, Amari, he, he got more snaps, obviously, but maybe not like, uh, maybe not like a ton. He made very, very good production out of the snaps that he played. So that's great to see. And then as the snaps go up, obviously, you want to see that same production. So super proud of him. I mean, that's my guy. And all of them are my guys. So I, I felt like, you know, as a D-line unit, you know, we we stepped up to the plate in a lot of ways. But, you know, like I said, at the beginning of the year, we want to be an elite unit. So we just have more steps to take and continuing to, uh, you know, kind of be the anchor of the defense in a lot of ways. You know, they say it all starts up front and just uh, continue to uh, push this defense and be a part of this defense being an elite unit. And that starts with us being a elite subunit as a D-line. So that's what we're striving for, and we're just trying to take steps in that direction. As a follow-up to that, you, you were very passionate in the preseason that, that your unit was going to be kind of a bell cow, that, that you guys were not going to be a surprise, maybe a surprise to the outsiders, but you knew this unit was good. Why did you believe that, and how far have you guys progressed, you know, over the course of this, of this season? Um, I, I believe that just based on our preparation. I mean, from the spring, we had ups and downs. Obviously, we have a new coach. I mean, 
some of uh, our ups and downs even went into last year. And I mean, anybody who's anybody knew what happened last year. So we come into this year, we have a new coach, best in the country. We have listening ears, we have able bodies, we have people who are more ready to go than ever before. So we had that and I knew that, and we knew that. I mean, we didn't really care whether everybody else knew that. So we're just trying to go and prove ourselves right day in and day out, you know. I feel like some people may see what we're doing and they like what we're doing so far. Some people are probably in the middle and some people probably still doubt us. We're just trying to get the majority to, you know, trust and believe at the end of the year that we are who we say we are. And um, that that's the main thing. Are we there yet? No, but we'll, we'll, be, we'll get there. Matt, I wanted to ask you about Thibodeau specifically. Did, did he pop, up, pop out more on, uh, on, on the tape when you bit, went back and watched for kind of the first time this season? And if he did, um, what was he doing well to do so? You mean like versus Ole Miss or versus other teams? Versus Ole Miss versus the rest of the season. Oh, I mean, I saw it like, you know, in the game. Like, I'm always, and you know, it's, it, you know, we, we all are always locked into what's going on in the field, being ready for changing situations, different personnel changes, and stuff like that. So, I'm seeing the play before it happens. You know, boom, boom, this happens. He has a, a movement or whatever. You know, he has great technique on there. And then, like I said, he just did an ordinary thing that we do every day. He did it at an extraordinary level. And he did that, and he made not only that play for the safety, but other plays in the game. Had a big tip ball, um, getting pressure on uh, the quarterback. You know, that's the main thing. And it wasn't just him. It was the whole D-line. I think that we really stepped up to the plate. And I think that, you know, it only gives us more motivation to get even further closer to where we want to go. So, like, great by O. I could always also say Latrell and Blakely with a big TFL. Um, you know, Caleb keeping contained, getting a great TFL. You know, I, I could shout out everybody on the D-line. Like, I, I'm proud of them, but at the same time, I just want to get better myself. I want them to get better. I want our defense to get better and obviously our team. So, just take steps in the right direction and, you know, snap and clear. You know, even if we would have been uh, blessed and won, won, won that with this past game, it's still snapping clear we have a next opponent and an opportunity to be better. So 